Today, I am going to walk you through what it means to embed JasperReports.io. What is embedding? Why do it? How you do it? Some examples and controlling access to JasperReports.io in your app. To set the stage, let's look at what JasperReports.io is. It is a service that generates data visualizations and reports. So interactive data visualizations right in your web application, as well as content like PDF, CSV. It does that in a very lightweight way, based on a REST API, and it has a couple of different ways to access it. That REST API can be accessed directly and also through a client-side JavaScript API to help deeply embed the visualizations right into your web application. So what does jaspreports.io do when it's embedding? What do you get out of it? So Jaspersoft has been talking about embedding visualizations right into applications and processes. And the ultimate expression of that has been our visualize.js JavaScript library. So jaspreports.io has taken a subset of that broad visualize.js library and provides many of the same services just around reporting and interactive data visualizations. So we can get inside your web app, get individual visualizations, whole parts of page. You can do things like report downloads. So I'm looking at a visualization. I just want the, the report of that, please. One of the things I've seen people do is use the ability of jasperports.io and Jasperport server to connect to data to actually just provide raw data sets for interactive visualizations, which would normally be done through a hand-coded microservice. You can secure information with jasperports.io through the client API, through the use of things like single sign-on, data level filtering. We'll talk a bit about how to do that given those capabilities are not native to jasperports.io. And finally, one of the keys to embedding is being able to seamlessly deploy this engine and this service right into your application environment, rather than having to use some external service that is managed by others. So let's have a look at some levels of embedding for jasperports.io. This is a simple website, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and it's got jasperports.io embedded in it. So when I go to the top sellers, what's actually happening here is that these two visualizations, which are interactive, are actually coming out of the jasperports.io service. We're leveraging the JavaScript client API to go and do that. So these visualizers were created with the Jaspersoft Studio, deployed and tested into JRIO, and then through the client JavaScript API, we're now embedding them. These can be as richly detailed as they want. They retain their interactivity. These are particularly high charts, our HTML5 commercial charting library. This little pop-up, the hover, is coming out of jasperports.io, actually out of the report. The images, however, are actually in the surrounding web app. So it's a very seamless sort of embedding. The drill down here, I'll show you how that was done in a sec, is based off putting a, a click event handler in it to say, I want to do, drill down and just go and I'm selecting high top here. I look at the products for high top. And then we've got, you know, other, so these two don't know about one another. Um, and you can also do things like drive interactivity. I'm just going down. You can drive the interactivity from the app into the visualization, from the visualization out into the application. You still have the capability of embedding straight reports. This is our fabulous first Jasper that we know and love. This is a customer overview report, which is showing summary data, retains its interactivity. I want to hide that column. I want to sort. I want to change this chart type. to be a line chart to show the week Catherine uh, shops most. There are all the high charts. This is an interactive table component. Um, sort and filter, hide and show columns. Uh, I can even do things like format stuff quickly. On the conditional formatting at the detail rows, I want to say, oh, I want to say it's greater than or equal to 
four, I want to fill that with a light green, for example. And then, you know, we can scroll through all that. And then we can do things like export really easy. And this is all done through um, using the jasreports.io API. So this is retaining what you saw on the screen. What you see is what you get. So let's look at some other examples of, and we'll start to get into how jasreports.io working. So this is the JRIO docs that come with the distribution of JRIO. Go and have a look at some of the other JavaScript. So how do we do a basic embedding here? Okay. Got a JS fiddle here. So this is pointing to my local JRIO environment and it's picking up the JRIO JavaScript client library. Now you can move that library. This is pulling the, the library off the JRIO service, but you can move that uh, JavaScript library into your application as well. We're loading the script. We've got a div tag and then we configure up the JRIO service. So that JRIO object is there based on loading the script. Where's the server? Where are my scripts? There's a, some things related to themes. Some of the internal components got look and feel that you can go and change. What locale do you want to have the visualization in? And then finally, these are the few lines that say, put this report, this high charts chart, and put it into this report container. And then if there's an error, alert me. This is one report with all that interactivity still there. It's a chart type here. We want to go to column one bar. There we go. This is orders per state with a dual axis, for example, on that. Once you've done the visualizations, it's very simple to actually include them into your application. And then best practice would be to have components in your JavaScript framework of choice, like Angular or React view, for example, so that you can really easily plug these things into sophisticated UX driven user experience. Let's have a look at some other stuff here. There's some parameter passing. UI controls, we can do exports. There's a lot of interactivity that's available. Let's do basic drill down it would be good. So in this case, again, we're loading up the JavaScript library. We've got a little bit of text and two divs. We can see this address report. Again, we've got the initialization. We're getting the first, this table report is up here. We put that in. Oh, it's got a, a link handler. So this is how you can add a link handler right into the environments. The basic link is in the visualization itself. And what you're doing here with the JustReports.io JavaScript is adding a click handler. So it says if it's report execution, that's the type of the thing. I get the parameters. I pull down the URI. So we're getting the, that report out of there and we're processing the parameters. We're executing that report. So let's do that. So when we click on Paris, what we get is a map report of para. We don't have a Google key there, but that's okay. This is actually also coming out of jasreports.io as well. So again, simple to add that sort of navigation into your environment. 